Good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I have been posting lessons about some fun little spinners. Friends, I thought I'd take a moment to just tell you a little bit about them. So let's get cracking. All right, friends. So let me explain these real quick. They are created in code blocks. And what's amazing is it's a pretty simplistic design, at least the first lesson. And then because of the way we design it, it is totally spinnable right off the printer. It's a cool lesson for the students as they learn about print in place parts. This first one right here is the easiest one. The one where you start to get two names. This one's a little bit more difficult, but it does turn into an awesome project. I print with 0.3 millimeter layers. I'm using 10 different printers, generally in about 25 to 30 minutes, which is a sweet number when kids are waiting to see their stuff done. Since the lessons are built in code blocks, students are generally successful. Let me show you one place I've seen them go wrong a couple times in the lesson. If you've never seen code blocks before, this is what code blocks look like. You drag your parts in place. When you hit play, the design draws in order. I've got parts that are holes. I've got parts that are solids. When they group, you get the cutouts of the project. Like I said, I've seen a couple of errors. Let me show you the main one I've seen. It's right here. For some reason, students do the solid, and then this is supposed to go whole, whole, whole. For some reason, that has been a solid on a few students' projects. So this is the one place where when it's done, if you do that incorrectly, it won't print right and it won't move. You can, of course, find all these lessons on my YouTube channel, but you can also visit hlmodtech.com. If you hit the Tinkercad button, there is a Code Blocks button. These are all projects that can be solved with code. Here are the fidget toy lessons. This is the first one that gets you started. And then I've got one that shows you how to add shapes real quick. Then I've got a simpler one for adding words. And then I've got one that uses variables to create smart text. So you can do all kinds of combinations with the same project. So there you have it, friends. Fantastic little fun fidgets in just a few minutes. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.